Let's talk about alcohol-containing side chains, alcohol-containing R groups. There are two of them here. Again, I'm only going to draw the alpha carbon. And the easiest one simply contains methanol as its side chain. And this is known as serine, S-E-R, single letter code S. The one other one that I have to show you is this. Now I'd like you to notice that serine is a primary alcohol. This amino acid goes by the name threonine, single letter code T, and this is its side chain. And you'll notice that this beta carbon is branched and it has a methyl group and a hydroxyl group. So what kind of alcohol is this? I saw it. Why don't you tell me? I saw it. You raised your fingers. It's a secondary alcohol, right? This is a second, if I could write, secondary alcohol. Anything special about this carbon? It's chiral. So again, I have a chiral center here and a chiral center here. Those are the alcohol containing side chains. There's one more that I'm going to save in just a moment. Sulfur containing. Sulfur containing R groups. There are two. This one, CH2, CH2, S, CH3. This is my side chain. This one is called methionine, MET, single letter code M. And I'd like you to notice that it is a thioether. Okay. This sulfur is bridging this methylene and this terminal methyl group. It is a thioether. The second one that turns out to be remarkably important to us is this one right here. And I say that because this is a methylene group with a thiol, a free thiol, sitting at the end. And this goes by the name cysteine, single letter code C. Now there's something important about this, based on what I taught you in the last two lectures, and that is this SH, right, can function as an acid. This can lose its proton in order to become S minus the thiolate anion. And it will do this with a pKa of about 8. So at physiologic pH 7.4, there's going to be some component of cysteines that are likely to have this thiolate anion. And in fact, if I manipulate the local environment to drive down the local pH or the local pKa, I can change this affinity and I can make this thiolate anion even more important. Now these molecules, these cysteine molecules, do something very important in proteins, and that is I could imagine a protein that had a cysteine residue here and another cysteine residue over here. This would be my protein in this squiggly line, right? And this could form a disulfide bond. These two cysteine residues, when they are linked together, have a funny name. This is called cystine, C-Y-S-T-I-N-E, cystine. That's two cysteine residues whose side chains are linked together by a disulfide bond.